Number 15. Write the mathematical expression for the reaction quotient, which is QC for each of the following reactions. And then we have this reaction right here. So we have to write the QC for P4 gas plus 5O2 gas, which comes to equilibrium at P4O10 solid. Now the QC formula is a very generalized formula, which is this one right here. So I'll just put this over here. And as you get familiar with this formula, we're just going to basically say that it's QC equals the concentration of the products. These little brackets mean concentration, aka molarity values. But it's just products divided by reactants. The concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. And you just have to raise these values to the coefficients. And remember, the coefficients are the big numbers in your balanced equation. Now, there are rules here. There's two states that are allowed in the QC formula, aqueous and gas. So AQ for aqueous materials and G for gas. So the first thing is go check out those states. I see that I have a gas. I see that I have a gas right here, another gas, and then a solid. Tell me which one of these three are not allowed in the QC formula. Yeah, it's the solid. Solids and liquids are not allowed. So I'm not even going to worry about this guy. If you want to slash through the whole uh, compound, that's fine with me. But I'm not even going to worry about this one. But since these are gases, they go in the QC formula. All right, so now we're ready to rock and roll. So QC equals something divided by something else. So I'm just going to put my line already. Now... Remember, it's products divided by reactants, but I can't use this product, right? This goes bye-bye, and there's no other product, right? There is nothing else over here. So I basically just need a placeholder for the top because I have no products coming in here. What number am I going to use for the placeholder? Ah, a 1, right? So if you just need a placeholder, you're just going to put the, the number 1. Okay. Now let's work on the bottom. I'll start from left to right. So I need to include the P4. I have to put brackets and then P4, right? Close those brackets and I have to look at the coefficient. Well, there was no number in front of P4. What does that mean? That means that there was one of them. So I can raise it to the first, but you don't have to say that. Anything raised to the first is itself. Now let's go over to the O2. Now, when you have multiple reactants, it's multiplication, guys, okay? So I just put the next bracket right next to it. But you can put the multiplication sign, that's fine. And now I put the molecule here. I got O2. I got to close that bracket. And now in this case, the coefficient is a 5. So I have to put a 5 up top there. So when we start doing the math, whatever the O2 number is, I have to raise it to the 5th. And guess what, guys? We're done. So this is the QC formula for this equation. Pretty simple, right? And that's it. That's all we had to do. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope I'm giving you good quality help. And just let me know, all right? Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And as always, I hope you have a great day. Keep studying hard, and I'll see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.